All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and here we go again. I definitely had to check this one out because we already know that all these charges that they brought against Donald Trump was all a lie. It was all fake. It was all political, and they didn't want Donald Trump to win. They weren't even expecting him to win because they wanted these charges to stick. And now, all of a sudden, we get this one right here from uh, Benny, and uh, Benny said that um, it's over. Trump's criminal sentencing tossed by New York judge, which is that corrupt liar judge, Juan Marchand and his crooked daughter that have been making all of that money off trying to prosecute President Trump and said that he's ready to dismiss this case. So, like I said, all these cases they had against Donald Trump is just it's just falling because they didn't expect him to win. They already knew all this crap was political. So now since Donald Trump won, they're like, what the use of constantly putting this case on him and he's in the office because that right there was what they were trying to prevent because Juan Marchand, Alvin Bragg, all of these people need to be in jail, including that judge's daughter for making all of that money going after Donald Trump and they're going to pay the price for it. So like I said, y'all, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. That way you can stay up to date with everything that's going on. And like I said, shout out to everybody who always watches their entire video. It really helped the channel out a lot. Uh, YouTube will share it so more people can watch. So let me know in the comment section that you did watch the entire video. I would really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Like I said, another victory for President Trump. Like I said, all of these charges is just imploding. And we love it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into it. What's up, guys? Your boy Benny. All good things must come to an end and all bad things must come to an end. And so I guess your political perspective will determine how you view this story. If you yep. are a lib who wants to live in a Marxist super state where you lock up your political opponents for literally nothing, then you're gonna be very, very sad about this one. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're the majority of the country and you don't want to live under the jackboot of tyranny, a bunch of freaks and losers and psychopaths and overly medicated, psychotic middle-aged women, running your justice system, then then you're going to celebrate this because, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, the day is finally here. Yep. President Trump's hush money sentencing canceled opens up the door for the entire case to be completely dismissed. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, let's yep. go ahead and jump in here and read Donald Trump's sentencing in the hush money case has been delayed indefinitely. Judge Juan Marchand, who should be fearing for his own freedom, given the fact that his yep. daughter made hundreds of millions of dollars off the promise of putting Donald Trump in prison. That seems yep. like a conflict of interest. Juan Marchand should be disbarred, disrobed, I guess you'd say, as a, mm -hmm. as a judge, although please don't disrobe publicly. Um, yeah, that was, <laughs> of course, I, that, that would definitely be on brand, however, for uh, the left. I, I'll, all I'll say is he should lose his capacity to do his job as a judge because he's so unbelievably corrupt. Exactly. Latest stunning turnaround of the case where Trump had been scheduled to be sentenced. They were planning on putting Donald Trump in prison. Mm -hmm. This was how they were going to do it. They had planned on rigging the 2024 election. You can see that in the numbers. You can see that in the media coverage. You can see that in the way that they yep. approached and addressed every single move in the election. It was all planned to be a court carefully orchestrated uh, win in the yep. last moments in the dark of night. The goal was then to put Trump in prison immediately. That was they're going to try to do, then but it didn't work. Trump forever. Didn't work. That was what the plan was. That's what we ended by electing Donald Trump in a landslide. Donald Trump. Well, we, I mean, we saved President Trump from dying in prison. That's what they were going to do here. In this case, they were going to sentence Donald Trump to die in prison forever. That, that was the goal. That was the goal. The latest stunning turnaround of the case, uh, Trump scheduled to be sentenced for the uh, conviction of 34 counts of falsifying financial records. Just crazy. Which is a misdemeanor, of course. That sentencing, which could have brought four years of jail time, was delayed. Trump's team wants that case tossed entirely. Now their client is set to become the 47th president. Uh, the former president, uh, first former president to be convicted of a crime is set to take the reins of power. By the way, anybody who calls Trump a convicted felon should be sued for libel because exactly. Trump isn't a convicted felon unless the judge actually convicts him and sentences him. 
So, ha ha. And they still try to call him that too. With your liberal aunt. Underlying the peculiarities of the case, Trump's lawyer, Todd Blanche, who urged the case to get tossed, is now being nominated number two at the Department of Justice. Just Woo! as a sitting president is completely immune from any criminal process, so too is President Trump and President-elect, wrote uh, lawyer Todd Blanche in an email to Juan Mershon. It became... It came as Trump's lawyer wrote the judge calling for an immediate dismissal mandating the Federal Constitution Presidential Transaction Act of 1963 in, in the interest of justice. Mm -hmm. It's necessary in order to ensure an orderly transition to power. The Supreme Court's summer decision on presidential immunity also causing the collapse in Trump's criminal, criminal cases. Ooh, baby. Ooh, man. Let's go. Trump's incoming White House communication director, Stephen Chung, declared the vi uh, state victory. A statement in Trump transition. President Trump won a landslide victory. And the American people have issued a mandate: return him to office and remains the uh, in office and dispose of all the witch hunt cases, all the sham law firm attacks against President Trump have now destroyed, and are focused on making America great again. He added: jury conviction of Trump, thirty-four counts falsifying business lawyers argued that it would be a miscarriage of justice to continue if Trump uh, after Trump was reelected. Mershon granted Trump permission to seek dismissal of the hush money criminal cases. In Man, which and that's the thing right there. That lets you know that this judge is trying to say, you know what? Let me go ahead and just say, phase. I don't want uh, my daughter to get locked up. I don't want to get. Let's just go ahead and dismiss this whole case. That way I can just get on out of there. That lets you know that this right here is done because it was all for political reasons because they don't like Donald Trump. They wanted to put him in jail because they thought he was going to lose. That's why they tried to cheat the 2024 election. And it's weird that they said that Donald Trump didn't accept the uh, election results back in 2020. But yet you got these Democrats who ain't accepting it themselves. They keep on trying to say it should be a recount. Something didn't go right. They doing the same thing if you're trying to say that that's what Donald Trump did. Like, these people are straight hypocrites. So they know for a fact that this right here is done. So now that this judge didn't open the door and said that President Trump, you know, he can seek dismiss of this hush money case. You know, so this this crap should have been thrown out because this is some dumb crap. Avin Bragg, wrong. They couldn't bring this case nowhere else in America but New York with a crooked judge that's funded by Joe Biden, a Biden-appointed judge. And this right here is just crazy. And they've been calling this man a convicted felon. And Donald Trump haven't been sentenced yet. So these people have been calling this man that for the longest. Knowing that it, if they want to bring these type of charges, which they said was a misdemeanor, they're going to bump it up just so they can call him a convicted felon to stop people from not wanting to vote for him. And that did not work. The American people seen straight through this crap and see exactly what they was doing to Donald Trump and knew it was lawfare. All because they cannot beat him fair and square. They had to slander this man. They bringing in women trying to say that he did something to him. It, it, it was just ridiculous. And they tried to do that a week before the election. You see CNN brought some lady in talking about Donald Trump touched her 31 years ago. So you telling me this woman waited 31 years and one week before the election to come out and say that Donald Trump touched her. It's like you can't make this stuff up. And we ain't, and you ain't ever heard from that woman since. Since she brought that, uh, she said that you ain't heard from that woman since. Why? Because they tried to make a distraction. They tried to lie on Donald Trump, and the American people didn't fall for it. That's what they get. Because President Trump is the forty seventh president of the United States, whether they like it or not. He was found guilty this year in light of his victory. Trump seventy eight had been scheduled to be sentenced on November twenty sixth, but prosecutors uh, in Allen office earlier this week. Uh, said that they are going to uh, delay indefinitely Donald Trump's sentencing. Uh, yeah, I don't think this guy is going to forget, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Fox News covering it. Fox News alert now and some developments in the hush money case of Donald Trump in a New York City courtroom. Uh, the New York judge, Juan Mershon, has granted Trump permission to file a motion to dismiss that case. Uh, he's already said that uh, he was uh, going to delay sentencing for a little while. He says now that he is going to delay sentencing even further. Uh, how long this goes on uh, it's, is anybody's guess at this point. Obviously, the judge is going to consider this motion to dismiss. Alvin Bragg, the Manhattan DA, agreed that Trump's attorneys should have an opportunity to file a motion to dismiss to be considered by Judge Mershon. But here's the thing is that Bragg and his office are, are willing, if, if Judge Mershon does not grant the motion to dismiss, Bragg and his office are willing to wait until January 20th, 2029, 
uh, to resume this. They, this go to show you how corrupt these people are. These people will wait four years just to still go after President Trump. They hold reason to go after them this year and part of last year because they didn't want him to become president. So you telling me they are rather sit and wait until this man get out of office around with 2029? They'll sit. They'll rather wait to still try to go out of them if one or Sean don't go ahead and talk. Which I believe he's going to toss this out. I, this case is done because it, there's no other way for, reason for them to go out of them after he's not in office because they wanted to get him this year, which we knew that this case was full of crap from the get go. It's like, come on, man. These people, Alvin Bragg, Warmish, and all of them need to be in jail for what they did. Case. They said that they're willing to put it on hold for more than four years That's and crazy. then start it all back up again when Trump leaves office. I mean, that is by any stretch of the imagination unprecedented in American judicial history. So uh, very soon, we don't know when Trump's attorneys will file this motion to dismiss, but we should hear very soon. And then we'll get Judge Mershon's decision on it after who knows how long. Jill? They may be filing it as we speak. <clears throat> they could be. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Sentencing in Donald Trump's case has been delayed indefinitely by yep. Juan Mershon. There's the actual order itself. Again, these criminals will be lucky if they stay out of prison. It's over. Juan Mershon issued the final order, definitely canceling the sentencing in the hoax case and allowing Trump to ask for a dismissal. Trump keeps on winning. Everybody is celebrating. Judge Juan Mershon retreats forever. This is, of course, the Trump statement from Stephen Chung. Uh, all of the sham lawfare against Donald Trump has been destroyed, and now we will focus on making America great again. Again, go. these people better watch out because the hunter becomes the hunted very quickly That's right. in a process where you have the American public so sick of this lawfare. Saying, and, and another thing, so as we can see now, Donald Trump got Pam, uh, Pam Bundy. Whew, and I'm going to tell you right now, Pam Bundy does not play around. And the crap that these people been doing to Donald Trump for the longest. You know what the main thing is about these people that really get me? They always saying Donald Trump going to go after his political opponents. But ain't that's what they was doing this entire time, going after Donald Trump? They smeared Matt Gates. They go, they went after everybody that supports Donald Trump, including himself. So when Donald Trump get in office, oh, you just trying to get revenge. Why would I not go after you? You went after me? What I, so you can go after me. But I can't do anything to you. These people are ridiculous. They are ridiculous. And you got Biden already trying to start World War II. He, uh, World War III, he already trying to start a war before President Trump even get in office. Like, these people need to be in jail. And wait a second. If you are the ones guilty of going after the, a, the, a former president, that's never happened. Going after a former president to try and bootstrap a misdemeanor into a felony to put him in prison and then going after him for freedom of speech in <laughs> just crazy the cases and the Fulton County cases. It's just Donald Trump saying he doesn't like the election result. That's it. You have a right, actually, to do that and an obligation, in fact. Exactly. You have an obligation to petition your government under Article 1 of the U.S. Constitution. It's right there. It's protected. You should petition your government your grievances. Yep. That means your problems with the way the government has acted. So it's, our, it's our, not only our right but our obligation to ensure that we are able to ask about problems or demand answers or, or, or create change in this society. That's all Donald Trump did mm -hmm. uh, in talking about the contesting of the election results. This was all completely legal. Exactly, so, and Hillary Clinton, she do the same thing. She still, she didn't accept the uh, the results, but they never say anything about Hillary Clinton. That's why she was so mad at Donald Trump. She she was the main one that started that Nazi crap, a Nazi rally crap. Top of Donald Trump's Madison Square Garden is gonna be a Nazi rally. She the one started that. And I mean, these people are just hypocrites. They say one thing about Donald Trump, but they don't apply it to Hillary Clinton. Because we know we know about that Hunter Biden laptop crap that they hid from the public. They ain't want nobody to talk about it. That's the only reason why Joe Biden won. Because if that information would have came out for the election, Donald Trump would have won. They know that. That he don't have to accept it. If I don't accept it, I don't accept it. Because I know I, we were, I was robbed. I knew it wasn't fair. Y'all censor Facebook. Y'all censored anybody who talked about it. Oh, yes. All that right there came out. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, all of this was a sh all of it was garbage. Yeah. 
from the beginning. It's all been thrown out. The last thing hanging on is the the, the Georgia case, but that is hanging on by a literal thread. Uh, and the 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 Georgia appeals court seems to be ready to throw that completely into the garbage, all of it. So that'll be a glorious day. Mike Davis, uh, President Trump's lawyer, warning on our program uh, that the people who are engaging in this lawfare better watch out because it's going to be them next. Let me just say this to Big Tish James, the New York Attorney General. I, I dare you. I dare you to try to continue your lawfare against President Trump and his second term. Because listen here, sweetheart, we're not messing around this time. And we will put your fat ass in prison for conspiracy against rights. And I promise you that. So mm -hmm. think long and hard before you want to violate President Trump's constitutional rights or any other American's constitutional rights. There you we, go. It's not going to happen again. We've been warning people on the show, Mike. This isn't the same Trump administration. No Stop ain't. messing around. Don't rig elections. Don't illegally vote. Don't try the funny business because we know the team this time and they are not effing around. The show ain't. Y'all got to realize Trump lawyers, they ain't playing around. Mike Davis, uh, Alina Hubbard, they are not playing around this time. So all that lawfare crap that Letitia Jane thinks she's going to continue, it's not going to work. So like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right.